Hello, welcome to my home lab. In this new video, I want to continue with the Docker series. Today, we install SAB and ZBD on Docker. Here, you have the official website, the GitHub from SAB and ZBD. Here, the code, information. Here you have the Docker image. We use the Linux server edition because it's reliable. Linux server is a good website. See it here, linuxserver.io. We go here to the website from linuxserver.io. See here. A lot of information how to do things. And last is the HitHub account from Linux Server with Docker, Docker SAB and ZBD. Now we can go to Portainer and log in. Now we log in with admin and the password. Login. As you can see, we have a new version 2.27.0 long time support we're going to update in the next video now we leave it like that as you can see we have two environments a local on this computer and an open media vault docker instance i have installed it in the previous video you can look at it today we go local and stacks you see we have Three stacks, classes, container agent, and yacht. All the videos are on the channel for these three items. We do up stack name SAB and ZBD. App editor, that's okay. And here we put the code. Copy it. Copy and paste it. You see here services, SAB and ZBD. You can choose whatever you want. The image from Linux server, the latest version, container name, network mode, bridge, environment. We have see that in a minute. Time zone, Europe, Brussels, and my part, volume. We have on our Fedora server in the home directory, my account. We create SAB and ZBD directory and config. The config comes from the Docker image. So that's Docker image. That's the server, the hardware, the real computer. Same with the ports. The first is the port from the real computer. The second one is the port inside the container. In this case, 8080 to 8080. This, the second one, you cannot change. The first one, you can change if you want. The restart policy, unless stopped can also choose pure always. That's depend on you. Now, you go to Putty and look first for this two numbers. Fedora server, it here, IP, port 22, open it, log in. And password. Here we do ID. You see it here. UID is 1000, my name, and GID is also 1000. I'm going to move it. 
The first 1000 is for UID, PUID here in the, in the Docker. The second one, 1000, is for here. Now, we can move that apart. And run it. Hop. Here come success. That's the first time. It takes some time because we have to load the image. You have to download. You see here, it's okay. Success. That successfully deployed. That's okay. Now we can go to our server and look for the directories. I go back here, edit. You see here, we have here some directories. We're going to configure that. We open Win SCP, our Fedora server, is address for 22. Go ahead. The home name, and we have a new directory SAB and ZPD. Config, have admin, downloads, complete and incomplete, we have the logs, database, but we have one problem SAB and ZPD is owned by root. For easy access, we need to change that to our account. Therefore, go to Putty, log in, Dora server, username, password, and we are logged in. See, we do errors. Home. You see here, we have SAB and ZBD by root. We do. We do. We have home, username, art, and SAB and ZBD. Password. Finished. We go here, we refresh, you can see the username has changed. Now you can put easy access to the complete and the incomplete. Now we go back to our web server and refresh. We are Logged in in the SAB and ZBD and the wizard. Choose the language, in this case English. Start wizard. First thing we need to do is to config and server. I have created a free account for this video. Copy server name, the host use.usenet.farm username and password SSL activated test server connection successfully we go next and you see here Setup is now complete. We have the download folder and the incomplete folder. Go to see here some warnings. We can remove that. Also that we remove and we are ready to download. Now I will download NZBD file, put it in here and testing. For this video, I use NZB index. 
That's a search engine. I have to be careful. I cannot download whatever I want on YouTube. So I choose Moza. A search. And you see here from photos from Moza. I download one. Download. See it here. Download it. Open. And I put it in here. Copy it. And you see the download is complete. Now I can go back to Win SCP. Go to complete downloads. Refresh. And you see we have a new directory. I can open it and I have the photo from Mozart. In the next part, we're going to configure more. Next part of this video, we're going to start, start all over. Go back to Portainer, Stacks, SAB and SABD, Editor, and we're going to change the volumes for easy access. I'm going to copy lines, go here. And paste it. I create three new volumes. Home, account, SAB and ZBD, downloads, complete, config, sorry, downloads complete. Second is downloads incomplete, goes to config downloads incomplete, and a folder SAB and ZBD and ZB. So we can put NZB files inside here and automatically gonna be downloaded to the config downloads NZB. Update stack, re pull because I removed everything. Update. Because we have to download the image again, gonna take some time. We wait. And success. Stack successfully deployed. You can go to containers, see it here. It's running. Also the images. See here. The latest. That works. Nothing has changed here because we use bridge. I can maybe I can show you. With bridge. And if we go down, containers and network, SAB and ZBD. All these images, all these containers use the bridge network. Now we go back to win a CP, log in again. See, we have again our directory. But again, it's root. Party and Again, I think we have it here. To do, see our own, my name, R and SAB and ZBD. Enter, password, because we use sudo. And that's okay. Go back to here, refresh, and you see the user is changed. Now we can go back to our browser. Connection lost because we have removed again. Refresh and we have to start all over because we removed the directory. English, yes, the host. Look at it. A minute. And Server, copy and paste it. Use Usenet farm. Username and 
password. SSL is activated. Test server. Connection successful. Next, we have the info, the download folders. Oh, this one can remove. First, we go to config folders. Now we have to change this. Browse, go back, see here, downloads, incomplete for the temporary download folder, config, downloads, incomplete. Tapped. Now the second one, the complete, again, browse, go back, downloads. Complete, accept. Third, what folder? Browse, copy, downloads, NZB. Accept. You see here. Save changes. Everything is changed. And can Go back. Now we have here our downloads. Put this folder and put it here. Waiting, completed. Open when SCP, see the directory, and then be the directory. We put the downloaded file, the NZB file, inside here. We wait some time, and you see automatically the file is downloaded and put in the directory. We open it, see downloads. And voila, everything is downloaded. This was it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give a thumbs up. Thank you very much and see you later.